All right, welcome back to another video. This should be a pretty quick one. And this one, you know, following up on the recent video of an announcement of the new playlist for binary exploitation, one of the key tools that we're going to want to use, let me full screen this, looks better. One of the key tools we're going to be using uh, in that on both Linux and Windows is a, a disassembler. So uh, a good readily available open source uh, version you can get is uh, called Ghidra. So there's also Ida Pro, which is the industry standard, but that costs tons of money. And for all you guys following along on this playlist, you don't need to invest in something like that. Um, if you're doing this professionally in, uh, you know, for a company or something like that, they're most likely going to provide you with licenses to Ida Pro. But uh, this has emerged as a pretty good alternative. It's getting better over time as well. It hasn't quite, you know... In, a lot of people's view caught up with Ida Pro quite yet, but this is one of your options. Another paid option is Binary Ninja, but we're going to go into the installation of Ghidra in this video. So if you want to play around with this tool, it's not just uh, installed by default on Kali or um, Parrot OS. I got Parrot here, but the installation process is very simple. So I'm going to be covering how to do this on Linux. Um, maybe we'll cover Windows in another video, but, uh, First thing we can do is we can just search up Ghidra GitHub. There's a GitHub page and uh, a really nice uh, install guide here. So it's very easy to follow along with this. Let me make this larger for you guys on the smaller devices. So, yeah, I mean, really installing this is as simple as making sure, first of all, that you have a JDK on your system. And if you're using Kali Linux or Parrot, you already have one on your system, but you know, a quick check that we could do is we could say um, Java dash dash version, and I'll say what version. So in this case, I'm running 13, so um, open JDK 13, but uh, they have a recommended version, which is 11. So uh, it seems to be running fine on my open JDK 13, but for the optimal experience, you probably want to go ahead and install this on your system and you can add it to path so that uh, it will, when you run the Java command, it'll point to that JDK. And if you weren't aware, uh, your Java versions, just to show you real quick, if I go into user lib JVM, that's where it will install it. And uh, as you see here, I have some different versions. I do have Java 11 here as well. So if I went into Java 11, uh, let's see here. Oh, right. So let me just, let me just LS into that. So user lib JVM Java 11, not 22. <laughs> we'll see that you have this stuff here. If we go into, I believe bin. Yeah, we can see Java here. We'll just have it point to that version of, uh, of Java. So this is where your JDKs live on Linux by default. So something to keep in mind. So, but once you have Java installed already, the rest is really straightforward. All you have to do is do a git clone on this repository and uh, then uh, it's ready to go. You don't have to install it really at all per se. Uh, I guess this video was a little bit misleading. All you have to do is download it and just run it. So I have it in my op directory uh, called Ghidra. And uh, so the, the, I just ran a git clone in my op directory. It created this folder, Ghidra 10.04 public, and it has all these files in it to run it on Linux. I just run this uh, Ghidra run script here and it starts right up. Now, one thing that you want to make note of uh, is that when you go to install this, and yeah, that's just telling me that my project is uh, not accessible. It couldn't open it because uh, I think I deleted some files. But besides that, um, basically, we'll cover how to actually use this in another video. But uh, one thing you want to keep in mind when you install this is that you want to do it as a user account, not a root account. You know, you'll notice this as a reoccurring theme for GUI applications. They do not like being run as root. Um, for security reasons. So uh, it's actually, I believe it won't even let you launch the application as root. And then you're going to have all kinds of path issues. So when you pull this down and you, um, you go to run this, right? Make sure that you run it 
when you're logged in as a user account, not as the root account. So just something to keep in mind. Hopefully this quick video helps you get up and running in Ghidra on Linux. If you're having any weird issues, let me know in the comment section below. And, you know, maybe I can help you out there. But I haven't really encountered many is uh, issues with this. It's been pretty smooth, I would say. So... Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. And if you are eager to get into some technical content, I got that on the screen for you right now. See you guys right over there. Thanks for watching.